Hello friends, I'm going to show you how I do a really nice compound butter for the steaks I'm going to make today for Valentine. Plus I'm going to have enough left to store in the freezer. Anyway, it's very simple and you can make it with any herbs and, and seasoning blends you want. You could make a sweet compound butter or a, you know, spicy, it doesn't matter what you put, you can use your own combination. But I'm just going to show you the combination that I use just to serve on top of steaks. And today I happen to be making a ribeye steaks. Yeah, a ribeye steak, two of them, for my husband and I for our Valentine dinner. So I'm going to show you this really easy compound butter that I use. So first you start with, I got a whole stick of unsalted butter. So to that, let's see, I'm going to add... I'm going to add a teaspoon of my granulated garlic, okay, a teaspoon of my onion powder, I'm going to do, oh boy, I made a mess, anyway, I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of salt, but I, or pepper. I don't want to don't too much in there. Let me wipe this up. Now you can use these compound butters on, on just about anything you want to cook. I'm gonna use a I'm gonna use a teaspoon of salt. With my herbs now, I am going to use a tablespoon of my thyme. You can use fresh or dried. I'm using dried. Okay. And I'm also using rosemary. Now that's about a half a tablespoon there. So I'm going to top it off because I want a whole tablespoon. I'm going to top it off with a half of my fresh ground rosemary. There we go. And I literally ground that just the other day from rosemary that I had purchased. Okay, so I'm going to use a nice generous tablespoon of parsley. Alright, so with this you just start mixing and blending this all together. This stuff is wonderful, absolutely. And it's messy, but that's all right. Just keep mixing and smashing it around till it's all incorporated really good. Now at this point, you can always take this butter, your compound butter, and you can put it in um, a piece of parchment paper and form it into a nice log and store it in your fridge. But me, I'm going to use mine, I'm going to mold it because I'm going to serve it with steak. And I want to be able to set a little piece on top, so I got to, you can, you can mold it in candy um, molds if you want. I think this is one, but this is a cute little diamond mold. I think it's darling. Just push it down in there. So, I want a little more in there. I want it pretty flush. 
Okay, there. That's that. I'm going to put, and the rest I'm going to put in a little container in my fridge because I'll mold that when these are frozen because I only got one of these molds. But anyway, there's that. And see the cute little mold? That's what's going to look like, little diamonds. Anyway, so I'm going to put that in the freezer till it hardens really good, and then I'll be back and I'll show you how that turned out. It's really darling, and you'll love it. We'll be back. Hey, friends, I'm back, and these are all froze. So I'm just going to pop them out because it's the silicone molds. They're nice. And see how cute they turn out? Just like so. Just pop them right out of there. Perfect. Look how nice those are. And then I, I'm just going to put them in my little dish here. Put them in the fridge and keep them nice and cold. And then I just put one on each steak. Not that I'm going to use all of them, but... And then I did ones in little stars. Nice, huh? So there you have it. That's how easy it is to make compound butter. So there you go, friends. Thanks for watching.